How's it going, everybody? So, I just saw the Snowden film by Oliver Stone, and I want to give a quick review without giving any spoilers. So, I'm going to avoid giving any spoilers, but the movie was actually pretty darn good. I was impressed at how well they actually managed to put in so much of the actual story into the movie in terms of the events that really happened and integrate in almost like a documentary way a lot of the real clips of things that you know happened uh, a lot of the news stories and things like that um, so I, I was really impressed at how they carried out the story in addition to doing the dramatic sequences I think that it's one of those movies you can you know bring anybody to and it'll be a good discourse as to the nature of government and also the nature of uh, government spying on people. Um, I think the only things I really didn't care too much for in the movie were certain elements of uh, character development and, and, and drama development that I thought just seemed a little bit embellished, but, you know, what do you expect? They're trying to make a movie. But for being a movie, it actually well done as to all the elements that were actually communicating things that did happen. And, uh, I mean, as far as the timeline of events go, oh, and a lot of the names of things um, that were actually done behind the scenes uh, with the NSA, I mean, they, they really did their homework um, when they put this movie together because it's not just an entertaining piece. This is an educational piece. If you watch this, you actually have a really good understanding of the things that went down behind closed doors and uh, with what Snowden saw and reported and, and did with some reporters. Uh, of course, you want to also watch Citizen Four, the original documentary, to have an even deeper understanding of, of the real elements. But I would say that you could really watch this movie and have a great basis from which to research further and, and understand um, what the government has done with spying um, on, you know, on U.S. citizens and uh, worldwide. So I recommend seeing the movie. Uh, it, it definitely can reach you know all kinds of people with it. Um, it is rated R, but I wouldn't say that with that with the absence of you know just a couple of curse words, it's not rated R for much else. I mean, there's a little bit of sex scene stuff, but nothing that's um, too graphic. Uh, really, I think they just wanted to get in a couple f bombs um, and you know try to make it more intense that way. But I would say you know this is one of the rarest movies I've seen in recent history in terms of providing something that has meaningful discourse, that has meaningful insights in the world um, around us, and I really do wish that more movies uh, did that kind of thing, provided actual uh, events and, uh, and, and made um, them dramatic in a way that's entertaining, but also in a way that kind of gets you to think about what's going on in the world, um, especially for those who, who aren't doing too much thinking about what's going on. So worth seeing and definitely worth taking friends or family to see who haven't heard of Snowden or maybe just don't really know too much of the story, it's worth seeing and it's worth getting them on board for it to understand uh, what needs to be stopped uh, as soon as possible. So, all right, take care, everybody, and I will talk to you.